Hi everybody. Okay, I'm all crooked because I'm on here, I think. Yep. Lori at Nature's Touch Soap. Uh, we're making soap. Yay! It's not a thrifting video today, but uh, I figured that I would come down here. I gotta make some more coconut uh, milk soap, and I thought I would take you along for the ride. So, what I've done so far is I've calculated out my recipe, and I will give you the recipe at the end of this video. Um, I have frozen coconut milk in here and it's dethawing really nicely, just slowly. So I put my frozen milk into the bucket and slowly add the lye so your milk doesn't burn. You never want your milk to burn. So never dump all your lye into the milk because it'll, it'll go black and you can't use it. And this is just straight coconut milk with 25% uh, water discount. And right here I have 75 ounces of organic coconut oil. I'll show you which one I'm using. This one here. Smells super good. It's organic and it smells really coconutty. This is uh, on a really good deal at my regular superstore here in Thunder Bay. So um, I think I got it for $15. Normally it's like 20, a little over $20, whatever. So I got like 10 of these. So I used up pretty much almost two. Um, so yeah, that is sitting in here. And I got a nice little painter's bucket here from a uh, dollar store for three dollars, so it's perfect for soaping. It also has all the measuring lines here, which is kind of nice. Never use it anyway because I always measure on my on my on my scale. So um, this is ready to go almost. So when we're ready to uh, do the next step, we'll come back. See you all in a minute. Okay, I don't know if you guys ever had to improvise or anything, but I had one of those slab mold things, and it broke. So, I have this box. It's a wine box, or something. I don't know. I found it at a yard sale. And so I've improvised making my own slab mold. And it's, it's kind of funny, but I'm, I'm thinking it's going to work. And, of course, I go to get my freezer paper to line it, and I don't have any. But I, um, I did have some brown wax paper, and I, I always save that if I can, or I get an extra piece from the butcher, because it's the exact same thing. And it's clean. And the other thing I did was take a couple of big pieces of plastic, and I lined it myself. It's gonna have to do because I am not going out to the grocery store at nine o'clock at night. Anyway, this is it, folks. This is handmade or what? All right, and we're almost ready to go with our um, with our soap making. So, don't go away. We'll be right back. Hi guys. Okay, we're back. Things are cooled off and we're ready to go. Um, today I'm going to be using um, Mystic Moments fragrance oil and this one is coconut. Normally I just do these plain but I thought maybe adding some fragrance to this this time would be kind of nice. Smells really good. Smells just like the oil here. So I've used Mystic Moments quite a few times um, and uh, yeah, I think they, they work really well. I really like them. And yeah, normally when I do order, I usually just get the coconut from them. I haven't really tried anything else from this company, but the coconut I really like. I know it's a pretty box. So we'll hang on to this one. And uh, we're gonna get a little bit of mixing going on. So our lye is ready to go into our oils. Everything is cooled down. And let's get at it. I have my spatula here. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to slowly mix this in. And 
And again, this is coconut milk. And when you do, uh, and just straight coconut oil, and when you just do a straight coconut oil, you have to really super fat it. They say 20%, I do mine at 25. That way it's not harsh and drying. It'll be more, um, more cleansing. This gives you a really nice hard bar of soap too, which is really nice. And let's see how we make out um, mixing this together. Just a little bit of white TD. Two ounces. We're racing up. Okay, let's get at it. Okay, oh boy, it's too thick. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. Holy cow, I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. I'll show you up close. Just a minute here. It seized. I don't know if that's going to turn out or not. Come back and see. Talk to you later. Good morning, guys. So, as you can see, I just woke up <laughs> and the first thing I did was come downstairs to take a look at the soap because it was a total fail. So what am I going to do? Come with me and I'll show you. So I woke up to one great big mess and so what I've done is I've taken all of my soap and I crumbled it all up and there's some of it there and I'm going to rebatch it. So I've taken my crock pot. I've put all my shavings back in here and we're going to melt it all down and rebatch this into something else. There's nothing else you can do when this happens. <laughs> so I've taken some uh, distilled water. I added that to my crock pot and we're slowly going to melt it down. And um, as it melts, I'm just going to keep adding uh, the soap shavings that I crumbled up there and um, when it's into a good consistency we'll add it to a different mold that's all I well, can what do. we did here was here's my distilled water we added our soap shavings to the pot it's getting warm you can tell as it's heating up there you can kind of see the condensation I added uh, some distilled water to this and plugged it in and we're gonna let it melt down and as it melts down we'll keep adding our shavings um, to it um, as much as we can and keep adding your distilled water to it if you think you need to you could add any other ingredients now if you wanted to different fragrance oils you could add um, like uh, coffee, if you wanted to make a coffee soap, or you know, whatever um, that you think that you'd want to add to make something different. You could put in different colorants in here if you wanted to change the color, and then give it a stir down, you know, every 
maybe 15, 20 minutes as you think that it needs a stir. And we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so this has been maybe a half an hour. And as you can see, it's starting to melt here. I've given it a stir and try to get it from the bottom and stuff. And as we go along, we're going to add some more safe shavings to there. So we're totally gonna melt this down as much as we can into another liquid state to get it into another mold. So here we go. We're gonna add some more and we'll put the lid back on. Okay, we'll come back. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, it's been about half an hour now since I added the last batch of shavings. And as you can see, it's really um, melting down here. So we're gonna give it a push down. And I think at this point, I'm not going to add any more shavings because I have a lot. I can do this in a, whoops, do this in a couple of batches here. So we're going to give it a stir. And it's coming to a really good liquid state here, so. We're getting there. I would like it a little bit more thinner than this. So I think we might add some more water to it. So we'll come back in a minute. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so we've got our first soaps done. These are so cute. They're like little butterflies here but I've got four of them done this is our rebatch soap and the rest of it is coming I've added more distilled water again and my other molds are ready to go and so far so good okay we're giving this a good dip here now really good consistency into the mold. We'll come back. Okay, we're giving this a good lift here now. Really good consistency. And we're going to pour it into the mold. We'll come back. Come back. There's the empty crock pot. Actually, I really like this whip soap. I got them into the molds here. So it's going to be nice to compare with just spooning it in. And that's an extra little one there. Whatever, I just stuck it in. That'll be for me. So we got one more batch to do. But for now, we'll wait this out and see what happens. So come back and see the results. Thanks, guys. Oh, my gosh. What a nightmare. But it's done. See you later. Okay, guys. So here's the result of our failed seized rebatched coconut milk soap. I've taken them out. They came out quite easily out of the mold. But as you can see, they're not perfect. But they're usable. It's like a honeybee or something. That's the mold. This one didn't turn out too bad. A lot better than they were. And if I go to market, I can still sell them at a reduced price. They're still kind of fun. We got four of those.
and that's how we saved our seeds so not too bad I'm pretty happy with that now the other part is the whipped soap it's still in the mold it's still soft so I'm not touching it until tomorrow so we can always come back and compare this when they're ready I think they'll be okay still soft so we're gonna let it sit and for now I'm saying good night have a good one everybody and thanks for coming by my channel and checking out my little soap escapades here the last couple of days some fails to a recovery to something easy love these ones if you like my content please consider maybe subscribing to my channel maybe you can see some more bloopers and anyways you guys have a great night talk to you soon good night for now hey, you guys I kind of had a, another plan. After I took these ones out, these were the um, the rebatch soap that I did of the Honey Bee, and look at this one. I had an idea. So what I did was I melted some of the um, white melt and pour soap. I poured it into the mold here, just enough to cover the. Um, design whoops and then I took these soaps and I put them on top and let them cool off and look at that I think that fixed them up quite nicely so let me know what you think I'll undo these other ones and we'll take another look and look at there right we back. go How's that for a quick fix? They turned out excellent. So, there you go. Rebatched from a bunch of tumbling soap shavings to another new bar of soap. Aren't they cute? So we have one more batch to do. So we're going to get at that and fix the rest of this unruly seized batch of soap. And um, we'll make them into something new. So thanks for following me along on this, uh, on this journey. And if you ever have a sea soap, don't throw it away. It's fixable. As you can see, the proof shows it right here. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Hi, guys. So, I've taken everything out of the mold here. These are our whipped soaps. I put them all into the freezer. And I let them freeze for a good six hours. And I think they turned out pretty amazing, considering that they looked kind of like these. I salvaged these ones from that slab mold. These were the only real good ones that came out of that. And I'm just going to use them for myself. It's a good shampoo bar. Good shaving bar. Little end pieces here. That's all I salvaged out of that big mess. But there's my little sample one here. This is the whipped soap. And these are the whipped soap in the mold here. They're beautiful. Very, very happy. Very, very happy, considering the mess that they were in. So when you have a soap seize, don't throw it out. 
Try to fix it. This just proves you can do it. That'll be just a little sample for me. And those I'll just use for the house. But yeah, a disaster to a good fix. So thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, maybe subscribe with a thumbs up or a comment. Thank you very, very much. We'll talk to you soon, everyone. Have a blessed, blessed day.